If you see what we can see, then adventure it's for all of us. There's a place that we should be. Come along, come along, cause it's high tide and we can't lose. Come and draft away with us. Hello, welcome to Ship Happens. We're going to be putting my TV that my parents gave me in my room. Are you excited? Yeah! Telly for your bedroom! Finally! So you're going to fit it? And, and you, of course. Should we do it together? Yeah, come on then. The, the batteries for the remote controls and my parents are actually putting the TV on. So I am going to switch my TV on for the first time in this event. <laughs> okay, three, two, one, go. Is it working? Um, should I press it again? No. no. It worked! It's Halloween tomorrow, so I'm going to be watching a Halloween movie. Oh, so we're all set up on Netflix. Right, I'm going to go do some work. Okay, bye! So I found Amelia's television on an app called Hot UK Deals. And it's, it's a community of like-minded shoppers who help you find the best deals on things. So if there's something that you're looking for, give the app or the website a try. And also, Black Friday's coming up, so it's going to be a must-use. So if you're looking for a PlayStation, uh, for someone for Christmas or a gift, you can go on, search what you want, and it shows you the best deals. Also, you can set alerts, so when new deals come on for what you're looking for, It'll, it'll give you a notification, which is fantastic. And also you've got the ability to ask questions as well. Great. I hate going to shops. And I'm always one of these people who like to get the best price. And I spend ages looking around different websites comparing. So you just search what you want in this app or on the website. And it does all that for you. So it takes all the legwork out of it. So for the best Black Friday deals, be sure to check out Hot UK Deals. Whether you want to download the app or go on the website, there's a link in the description below. So we've got these in the cupboard for ages, haven't we? I keep saying, we need to fit them, we need to fit we them. Bought we bought loads of skin fittings when we had that little, oh God, the one at the front needs sorting. Yeah. So, we bought them months ago. And we're just having a time to do it, have well, we? Well, we fitted two at two the front and the, the bow section where we were working because we were a bit nervous about standing on them and breaking them and blah, blah, blah. So, today's the day. We're going to fit our very, very expensive BRZ. Is that what they're called? DRZ. DRZ. Don't know what it stands for. Something to do with brass and deal, zinc and stuff. So, we're sick of working around these pipes. I don't really want to cut the pipes off because you don't know whether the valve's closed. Because <laughs> I've, I've been keeping the pipes high, you see, so yeah. And now that we're working down here on the woodwork, we're just in our way. So we're going to spend the day getting these changed over. Yeah, shouldn't be, shouldn't be too hard, should it? No. So I put my big spanner on that and it snapped off. Good job of replacing them. Good to work trying to open it or close it and stuff like that. Oh, look at that. Do you know what these do you know what these valves are for? Just show them this valve here. Is this the toilet? <laughs> that one was, yeah. I don't know what I don't know what this one was, but I can imagine yes. Maybe you should put some like gloves on then as a bit of life. We've had worse than our ones, haven't we? 40 year old poo. Good, good bit of compost. Good the, big, the big spanners out, isn't it? Yeah. I'm used 
used to using like nice fitting spanners and stuff like that, but when you're working on pipes this size. That's a good spanner. Uh, wow. It's growing in there. No, oh, not with your hands. No, it's just all like. Oh no, it's not a diet you're on. <laughs> oh, do you reckon there's little crabs and stuff? I don't know. Oh, don't put your fingers in it. That's disgusting. Why do you test it? No. No, that, that was fully open. Ah. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. I don't know. It was something, I know. <laughs> right, let's get the 90 off it. She's a moving. Someone's been like nesting, aren't it? Yeah. Do you think it's a, it can't be a bird, can it? I don't know. So now, hopefully, we can use special tool number seven. Oh, okay. So should we just, we'll get, we'll get the hoover, we'll get all this area clean because I'm going to use some heat. Okay. So on the inside of the skin fitting there's like little, um, can you see them, little sticky out bits there. Um, we've just put that much torque into it, we've, we've just sort of damaged the ones on the original because the original one's quite soft. So we've got this arrangement here at the moment, that's against the hole. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my drill through the nut, then it hopefully split the nut. So let's give it a try. Skin fittings. They're pretty easy, are they? Oh, yeah. Okay. The nut is off. Hammer it out. Well, I don't know if I'll just hammer it out, but there has to be like a bit, a bit of a twist. I'll give it a lot of heat on the inside. Because then that'll, that'll soften up the, um, the glue, won't it? Technically. Yay, 
it's in the mud. Yeah, it's fine. There's no point in even trying it one day, that is there? What do you think? No. What tall she is? Grinder. <laughs> Is this gonna stink? It's it could potentially have all sorts in there. No, it's not too bad. It's never a good sign, is it, when there's like a big plug in the end? No. <laughs> so nice to not have these pipes in the way. But, I mean, we, what we could have done is just plug the holes, but... No. Okay, so that can be disposed of. I should put it on the poop deck. Put the poop pipe on the poop deck and then it'll be put in the bin when we get home. So we're going to do this one, this one and this little one down here. Two down, one to go. I don't know if anybody noticed because it's on time lapse, but we started to roam on it a bit, but it just snapped. It just snapped completely the second one. So I mean, they were well overdue a change. <laughs> we, we were putting some energy into it, but. Not really. Oh, okay, you wasn't. I was. <laughs> so yeah. Woo. Yeah, I think. Anybody that... who buy these skin fins? <laughs> They're well overdue a change. Yeah. So, We're um, going to melt them down. Are we? Yeah. Okay. Right, back to number three. Oh, the book cracks back. The book cracks back. Put your book crack away. They're just taking the floors up because the skin fit in there is sort of level at the floor, so just to make access a bit easier. I don't think we've had these ones up before, have we? But look at all the ballast. I think I've had a sneak under, yeah, because I've obviously changed we've, that yeah, one. Yeah, we put that one I in. I don't think I've had this one up there. Because I'm also intrigued to see where this pipe goes. So we've just lifted the floor up. And it's the first time we've seen this bit of floor. Found a compartment with no ballast in! <laughs> I was like, it's full of gunk, but there's no ballast. Only because they couldn't really get it off. Oh, that's going to take some cleaning. Do you want to see? It's just like when we did below the water tanks, right? So. Still don't know where my pipe goes. You still don't know where your pipe goes. <laughs> That might run all the way down to the toilets. Mm. No, because uh, I'd have yeah. to run through the engine room floor. Oh yeah, bilge-wise, might be. Yeah, actually, this shouldn't go through there. I don't like this going through there, do I? No. Only because um, it's potentially watertight, this bulkhead, isn't it? Yeah. Apart from that. And that. This one. Ah, now that's... Yeah, OK. What is it? That's the water filler. It looks like I've got some cleaning up to do in this build today because while the floor's up I may as well clean it so I think While everyone's still listening While everyone's still listening before, <laughs> before they go Go on what are you yeah. going to say? What is this? What is that? Yeah so There's a big... Yeah, tell her, tell her, tell her. So we've got this one here Yeah Which is copper So it's a big copper air strap that goes right through the hole. I'm thinking, you can tell. 
there's something to do with like the if they run copper plate underneath because some some of the Mediterranean versions had copper antifoul underneath. Should we ask an expert? We'll ask an expert. Right, I'm gonna go off and ask my very very expert friend. <laughs> Um, and he'll give me the answer. I, mean, I might get a message back today and then I'll be able to come back and tell you what it is. So you know when we removed all the water tanks and we thought that was them all? What have you just found? Tank! <laughs> so there's another floor we've not looked under yet. So we've got a, a massive chunk of lead down there. So that's the only ballast we've got down there. We've got a tank which I notice it's got some lovely bit of tape on it. Duct tape. And you might be able to see better than me what's in there. But I can't imagine it's very nice. Sai. Huh? That could be a tank of poo. <laughs> you really take it home in your bag. <laughs> what are we gonna do if that is full of chip? We'll just seal it back up. <laughs> I'll say it was you. <laughs> Oh no way, really. You know if that is full of I'm gonna vomit. It's like it would stink. Right, do you know Simon won't even empty our own like cassette toilet in the camper van, it's my job. So if that's full of poo, I'm probably not gonna be the one that vomits. It'll be Simon. Oh well. <laughs> to make sure the camera's out that day, won't we? <laughs> anyway, it would stink, wouldn't it? Yeah, there's no smell, is there? No. I'm not gonna stir it though. Anyway. Found a tank. <laughs> She's a beauty. I'm mainly using the camera for the lights at the moment. Oh. So, I don't know what. Do you remember that pipe? <clears throat> What's that one off? That, that oh no, it's open the tank. Oh! It's, uh, no, it's almost not. Oh god, it's plugged up. <laughs> And our pipe that that was concerned about is this one here, coming from the other side. So that goes into that tank. Yeah. So as we've only day ends up being a clean up day, doesn't it, Jim? Yeah. Yeah. Just just cleaning this area while we've got it exposed. Horrible. What kind of copper you've got down there? Can't even see my face, can you? Just cut my head off. Still hasn't got used to this camera malarkey, has he? I was looking at what you're doing. <laughs> Yeah. Sick of your face, Gemma. I just want to see the crap in the build. Yeah. You're doing a fantastic well, job. I'll clean a bit behind me. Well, you know. I'm going to have to get a torch while you clips in the light. There you go. <laughs> so. Give it a scrape, innit? I'm just down to like the scummy areas. It's, every, it's dead hard to reach there. I'd just say we just jet wash and get it all into the middle. Well, Here's I'm just trying all. to get all the big bits out and like put it in a bucket to take home. No. It's got a plug in it. Sam's on the outside now trying to try to get this one last skin fitting off. And it's got a plug in it so we can't get in it. Me punch all the way through. Oh, oh, you didn't have to pass me the muddy end. Ugh. So the two big ones come off relatively easy. And this little tiny one's giving us grief. It's always the last one, though, isn't it? And we're like, yeah, we'll just we'll get them all out. We'll do them all today. Obviously, we can't go now until we have done them all. Very slowly. Issue we've got is the whole thing's just spinning round and there's nothing to drive on on the outside. So luckily the new one we're fitting has got the little nails inside. So didn't really want to cut it off, but last resort. Last resort. Mm. 
So the copper strip that we were talking about before that runs all the way through the boat. We didn't know what it was. I've just had a had an answer. Yes, our expert. That's our expert. There should be a copper strip on each side of the boat running the full length. Aft, it should connect to the rudder A bracket. It's there so all the hull fittings are bonded at the same potential, which helps minimise electronic corrosion. Second reason is because the boat carried ammunition and explosives. Every metal part had to be bonded to avoid sparks. Static. Cool. So we're going to be carrying explosives. Mm. <laughs> Just <laughs> only your wits. But it's interesting, that isn't it? Yeah, it's cool. You know. Because at first, yeah, I don't, I don't have a clue what it did. I was like. I've noticed it, but... So obviously all the skin fittings, the old ones that we took off, none of them were bonded. But you can buy a bonding ring, so eventually we'll probably just pull the nuts back off and slip some rings over it. And bond them back yeah. to that Yeah, we, will, we will take advantage of that copper strip. Yeah. I love it, I like it. Definitely. So I'll go and get some bonding rings yeah, yeah, yeah. and we'll do that. Yeah. But yeah, that's cool because we were carrying yeah. ammunition and explosives. Didn't wear any sparks on board. It's quite a bit of history. History. And also, they used to um, they used to have copper lines at the top as well, and all the portholes were bonded to it. Was it? To the top one, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's clean there. I tell you, Lord. Filter off because I can't quite get it. I can't get it in the hole. So a good few months ago, I taught Amelia about valves and knowing which way, which way is open and closed. So later on, I'm going to test her. Can you teach me? Well, <laughs> so you know, <laughs> the lever is always, if it's like in line to it, the direction of the pipe, that means it's open. It's open. And if it's 90 degrees to the to the potential flow, it's closed. It means it's closed. That's okay. it. Open, closed. Because it'd be nice for me if I go, close the valves, do you like? And then just go, close them, do you like? I don't know. It's good to know. It's good and, to know. You know, you guys might not know, so. Hey, we know now. You might have just learned something, you might not, Probably you might not. go, don't be stupid. <laughs> so they have like 40 quid each. You don't need 10 more. <laughs> How many more do we? Oh, not even. Yeah, we need to go, that's what we're going to do today, because later on today, after we've done this, we're going to have a go around, because we measure up for radiators. Yep. Measure up for the bracket for our wind turbine. Ooh, guess who may have just bought a wind turbine. So, and then, do some shopping, I think. Oh. Boat work's never easy, is it? Right, so I'm just going to prime up the hulls, going to leave the paint to dry, have a tidy up, have some dinner, and then come back and fit the skin fittings. So we've had our dinner. Woo! Um, Paint's dry. All I've got to do now is screw it together. So, I've just been thinking that do we need to consider the orientation or do we not really? Yeah, because I don't want to cut no frames away. No chance. So, do you remember how we marked it last time? So, up like that. Whoa. Oh, stupid ballast. And then you can shut it down like that, yeah? You think? Yeah. So we'll call this one F forward. So F. Right. So that goes up. Not yet. No, yeah. Yeah. What? I don't know. No, this is just the forward one because right. I think last time we got them confused. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we've decided that we want the the valves, the valve, that part of the valve anyway, pointing upwards. So it's gone hand tight for now on the skin fitting. So now I'm eyeballing the up. So that's going to be up there. And this one's going to be 
the aft one. No, oh yeah, go on then. So I'm just going to put an A on it so I can see. Which is the aft. So that's good. That's a match pair now. So this one is going to be the aft ball, ball valve. Is it ball or ball? Ball. It's got a ball in it. Yeah, but the whole ball comes out of it. It's a ball valve. I've always thought they were called ball valves, and I was generally said they were ball valves, so it went. Anyway, so that's that one. So do you want to unscrew that off there? So you're going to glue these up, pass them through the window. Yeah? Yeah. Right, you go outside. Okay. I'll goop these up. Right. And then I'll pass them through the window. See so through that hole there. Uh, through the hole, yeah. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to put some sealant on the outside of our, in our skin fittings. Marine sealant. Some sicker. 291. Now let's wait for Simon to appear at the other side of the hull and that'll pass them through the window. Okay, I'll do the forward first. and all the louvers pointing in the right direction, in the same direction. Yeah, otherwise it confuses me if they're all different directions. <coughs> a lot of water coming in. <laughs> no water coming in. Half the amount of the lot of water coming in. Look at them bad boys. Harder than it looks. So, I just need to clean up all the silicon because I don't like it when it looks messy. <laughs> Yeah, start with me. <laughs> what have you been doing? Number one. Number two. Number three. Yes! Skin fittings done. Well, hold on. That is so that is skin fittings done in this room. Oh my god! <laughs> the never ending! How many skin fittings do you need on one boat? Do you really need three that close together? So we've done three there, we've done two at the front. There's two more there. Two more in this and room. There's one that we broke. Right, I'm going skin fitting shopping again because we haven't got any more, have we? Yeah, we've got, no, we've got one more inch and a half. Right, okay. need, um... No, I don't like gate valves, I prefer ball valves, please. Okay. Why? Because they're better and they don't break as easy and don't jam. And... Okay, that makes a bit of sense. And you could just go, oh, which way's off? That yeah. way. Yeah. The line. Okay. So, I don't want any more gate valves in my boat. 
They're all gotta be ball valves. How about that one then? Just throw it in the bin. Keep it. Spare. Spare. Just in case. That's yeah. a backup of the backup. You know, you know why people fit these, I think? Because these don't fit that easy. Because you have to get these past. Yeah. And like yeah. Because of all the frames and stringers, yeah. they were a nightmare. They were they were really nice yeah. to do compared to the ones at the front. Yeah. And as well, to basically turn them off. Yeah, it's it's a long job, isn't it? It's a lot of effort. And it's not like you're trying to proportion. It's not like you open the tap, just open it a little bit. Yeah. You want to have it open or close. Yeah, it's you? all or nothing, isn't it? So, so yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah. I like the ball valves better. So if you're going to replace your sea cocks, ski sea cocks, is that what they're called? Skin fittings. Go for the ball valves, they're just chink chink, you know. And now I know which way the handle has to go. <laughs> and how to work them. Yeah. So, something else we can take off the board. Mm. Skin fittings in the front section. Still got more to do, but... Yeah, that was quite an achievement, we did well. Yeah. So, big job is getting that tank out. I really, really hope that is not full of... What you... <laughs> what it's designed to carry. Oh no, we didn't uh, poke our noses into it too much. Today. Yeah, that'll be fine. So, yeah, so back next week and back yeah. on to woodwork, I think. Yay. Right, thank you all so much for watching. Cheers, guys. Thank you. See you next week. See you, goodbye. Pull a funny face. <laughs> that was your normal face. What's do when you got dance shoes but a bottom round town to jive? Skip bop to a grandma's hot spot, turn left down the yellow brick drive. You'd be surprised by the people that you meet, Bobby Bops with a sheep or ride.